welcome back to my channel if this is your first time thank you so much for tuning in if this is not your first time what up what's good thank you so much for tuning in once again so today I filmed something very special for you guys the very first time I did something like this so I filmed this look right here um, so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I use a Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It is nearly finished. And I'm actually looking for places that sell primer because I need new primer. My biggest issue though, right, about um, makeup places in Da, and I don't know if it's just me, is that like people are selling fake products and if it's not that it's fake products the other issue is that it's like stupidly expensive it's like you would compare the price and then you'd see how much they're selling it for here and then you're just like that doesn't even make sense um, and I understand like people are trying to make a profit and stuff but at the same time it's like Okay, we know what the price is. I'm um, moving on to my foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 360. I just applied some of the foundation on my hand. Yeah. So back to the conversation about people selling fake makeup. Like, no lie. I went into this. I'm not going to disclose the name because I'm not about throwing shade. But I know there's more than one of these. I went onto my Instagram. And I saw this page, like, because obviously it says, oh, they do, they do, they sell makeup and stuff like that. So I saw that they had this one, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty palette. It's like one of those small ones. And then I was like, oh, this is a really cool palette, you know, like, let me go find out. And no, let me go buy it, actually. And I was like, oh, do you guys have this? And then they show me immediately, immediately, as I saw, like, as I opened it, I was like... You know when you can see something is fake like it's like nah so i was just like um sorry is this original he goes no it's not original i'm like so why is it here like and really what what made me laugh is that he was like um no we've got we've got like original products and then we've got like not original products so even like the Illegal Pro Concealers. I've been looking for Illegal Pro Concealers and I've actually come to the conclusion that I'm not going to buy them in um, in TZ because it's it's ridiculous. Illegal Pro Concealers are like, it's about 10,000. So it would make sense now, obviously to make profit, it would make sense to like sell it by like 15, you know. Places are selling it for 25,000. I'm just like, why are you selling this for 25,000? This is like buying two. You know and i think that's the thing that really hacks me and guys trust me i'm not like shading or be like oh i know i understand people need to make it's their business people need to make a profit and also i guess they're taking advantage of the fact that there aren't any suppliers of that makeup in this country so it's a situation where it's like if you don't buy it from us you can't get it anywhere else but i just feel like oh my gosh is there a place that's selling actual like makeup that I can go to please tell me like what really messed me up is that I went into this place like looking for something and when I saw it I was like because oh, now I had to change my mind because I was like I'm not gonna buy something fake and then it comes to have a reaction on your face or something um, so I was like you know what let me buy it. let me look for something else so as I'm looking I find a palette and then this guy's like I'm like, how much is this? And then he tells me the price. And I was like, really? Like, I was confused. And I was like, is this original? He goes, yeah, it's original. So I was very confused because I was like, it's original? And it's that price? Um, alarm bells should have rang. But anyway, I was like, okay, well, I really need an eyeshadow palette. Ooh, sorry. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight my face. The LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Born. I asked him... And he's like, yeah, it's this much, it's original. I'm like, are you sure it's original? He goes, yeah. Guys, this thing is not original because I got home and 
then I actually went on YouTube to like see it on other YouTubers um, pages and stuff and I can see like okay it's not that bad but some shades are not what they're supposed to be so like the orange is an orange the yellow is a bit off and stuff like that so I'm just like Ugh. but it still does the trick and it's the palette that I've been using so I'm not mad about that but I am mad at the fact that he sold it to me with the assumption and with my with, with my with my with me having the assumption that it's real because if he had told me it's not real definitely I would not have bought it but I guess also I sh alarm bell should have rang at the fact that the price didn't really match up to what it actually costs so yeah that was my bad on me too I'm gonna blend that um, one of my friend's sisters we were talking and she was sending me all these pages where she's like okay these people actually sell um, legit things and it's funny that we even have to do that and I think one of the biggest issues um, even with like the beauty industry here and stuff like it's like we who can we get to sponsor us in like let's say you, you want a brand to sponsor you and stuff it's very 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 hard like for example in South Africa I say Maybelline Revlon all these makeup places these, these makeup brands have branches in those countries so they have branches in South Africa and stuff which means that if I work at Revlon and I see someone, um, a beauty influencer, I can approach them and be like, yo, can we collaborate with you? We want to work with you and stuff like that. Whereas in Tanzania, we don't have that. There's no branches of all these makeup places. Please um, forgive me if I'm wrong. I know there's MAC and that's like recent. But other than that, we don't, we don't have, we don't have like makeup brands in this country so it's it's one of those things where it's like if we even want to get sponsored imagine how hard it is because now we want to we need to get like international recognition actually because what brands look for is like where where where's the market big where is this like a big thing and in tanzania it's not really a big thing one of the stories if you guys know um legit distributors of makeup please let me know also places that sell authentic lashes because you guys also know like my thing is glam on a budget so please don't give me just don't send me to places that sell expensive things like i'm just trying to show you guys like my whole message is to show you how to be glamorous on a budget and that's in things of fashion that's in things of beauty that's why the products I even show you guys, these are all budget-friendly products. None of this is um, luxury makeup. Um, all of this is very, 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 very budget-friendly. My whole thing is to show you guys like the easy, the easy way. Like if, because people, people show you stuff, and you don't want to watch someone and it's like you love them so much, but like you can't, you can't get, you, you don't, have, you don't have access to that kind of life or to that kind of you know lifestyle and like when people see me and stuff i need you guys to know that the things i do are on budget i'm not just out here like doing the most like i do the most but knowing that it was efficient so let's move on to the eyeshadow so the eyeshadow look today i'm going to be doing is very 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 bold and i really hope it goes well because I'm going to be following a video, um, a YouTube video. This is it's called "How to Do Sunset Eyes." So let me move in closer real quick. This is the palette. We're going to start off with a brown shade. I really hope this goes well, guys. Please wish me luck. I see you watching me. When we're with our friends, it's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there, cause I know you want it. Afraid to let it show, and I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow? I think it's time we stop tipping on our toes. What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know.